Hi, welcome to video 6 for the Informatics TDS 601 and 602 software. Uh, we're going to look at a few advanced features that the software has got that we haven't covered yet and these are designed to make your life a little bit easier and again making it work for you. So if we head over to the vehicle management tab and you'll see that there's three buttons on the top, driver authorization, clone vehicle settings and message vehicle. So first things first is we're going to look at driver authorization. So if you go ahead and click that, comes up with this box so you can filter at the top by your company location and then the different classes that we've filled in before so like we can fill in these for ourselves if we want to but we're going to just look at all to make it straightforward for this demo so we've got our vehicles here which I have relabeled counterbalance 1 and counterbalance 2 and then we've got our three drivers here if I go ahead and close that you'll see there's Pete, Russ and Ross so what we want to do is expand on them using the little arrows and we can see that Pete can drive counterbalance 1 and counterbalance 2. Russ can drive counterbalance 1 and counterbalance 2. And Ross at the bottom can drive counterbalance 1 and counterbalance 2. So suppose it that we decided we didn't want Ross to drive counterbalance 2. We can go ahead and click that. And just click remove vehicle. And it's gone. So now I can only drive counterbalance 1. I can't scroll down any further. It's gone. And if I want to add any vehicles to the driver, I can click on Ross, so the system knows we're talking about Ross. And we can add counterbalance, he's already got one, so counterbalance two from the list of vehicles we've got up here. And then click add vehicle, it says vehicle signed successfully. And then if we expand that back again, we'll see that I've got two vehicles. Um, so that in essence is how you allocate which drivers can drive which vehicles. Um, and you'll see it comes up with the expiry dates here for the for the the driver. Um, if you do wish and you're talking about a certain vehicle you can put a new expiry date in here for example if they have not got the license or they've got a license that's expiring soon you can put a date in here and if you do backdate it uh, the system will recognize it and will lock them out of that vehicle as well so just a little tip for you there if you do want to go and do that. So that is where you would add your vehicle driver authorization sorry. Um, we're going to go ahead and look at clone vehicle settings. On here, although the screen looks a little daunting, it's quite straightforward. So you have got a way of cloning a vehicle here, and you can just cl simply click that tick box and it will clone all the settings exactly as it is, or you can just make a few little adjustments if you want to. Um, and then you go down here and hit clone vehicle, and it will tell you to um, make sure you select all. Um, you can come up here, select source. So our source vehicle is counterbalance one. Um, and then it's being a pain. We go ahead and create counterbalance two as our target. So you select your source, you select your target, and then you go ahead and clone the vehicle. And cloning was successful. Um, as hasn't shown because our license has only got a couple of trucks on it, but you would have your third one here, and you could go ahead and create a vehicle name here and call it, you know, Counterbalance 3. And then if you put your MAC address of the truck in, because each one has a unique MAC address so it can talk, that's all the detail you need to put in if it's the same as Counterbalance 1 and 2. Um, that way you could go on to Counterbalance 1, uh, sorry, go on to Clone Vehicle Settings. Select source as counterbalance one, select target what would then be counterbalance three, because it'd be your third one, clone all settings, clone vehicle, and it will re-add it to the list. The only thing that you've got to put in is the vehicle name, the MAC address, and just these quick tick boxes at the top. So that in a nutshell is those two. Um, the only other feature that's on here is messaging the vehicle. So you can select a location, so we've got United Kingdom, we could send to all the production, um, you check all the vehicles here create your message and then the quick keys on the keypad give you the create responses so you could say OK, yes, no, busy and send message and it will come up here so fairly straightforward so I hope you find that useful uh, if you need anything else let me know